Hey guys, today I want to talk about some fun sketching tools that are going to help you ace your sketchbook game. You guys should know well enough by now that I wouldn't suggest just any old garbage and I certainly wouldn't suggest something as basic as just regular old pens and regular old pencils. So you guys see here before you a small selection of what I think are some awesome sketching tools. We're going to go ahead and start by separating the brush pins of which I have many, lots of different types. Um, lots of different ones will find a useful home in your uh, sketching kit. We have a modified Pentel pocket brush. This might look like your average uh, Pentel pocket brush, but it has been hacked into an eyedropper conversion, which means it doesn't take cartridges, it, cartridges anymore. The whole body is filled with ink. And I have filled this on this channel, in fact, you may have watched that video. I have filled this with radiant watercolors in cherry red and that makes for a fun effect. Also have a Kuretake Zig Clean Color. This has an individual bristle brush nib, same as the Pentel Pocket Brush. In fact, most of the pens I'm gonna show you guys today have that sort of nib. We've got three different larger brush pens. We have a red Pentel brush pen. We have a black Pentel brush pen that actually has a dry feed, so it dry brushes. And then we have a Pilot black brush pen, and I'll demonstrate those for you guys in a minute. I love adding color to my sketchbook, so I recommend water-based markers for a single layer of fun color, like highlighters, as well as colorful links. And if you're going to keep it in black and white, a combination of fun gestural brush pens, and then some calligraphy pens that happen to have a chisel nib, makes for some really cool illustration. I'm gonna go grab my sketchbook and I'll show you guys some sample sketches where I get a little bit mixed media. You can see the red Pentel pocket brush. The thin line is a 0.1 Sakura Micron. And then I also use the black brush pins to add a little bit of detail. Over here, it's just black and, um, black and white where I use the calligraphy pen to get a variety of lines, and I'll show you guys really quick. If you hold it so that the chisel, the flat end, is going in the direction you're drawing, you'll get some wider, uh, wider lines. And if you hold it the other way, you'll get some thinner lines, which is a great way to get two lines out of one brush. And it's good if you're an artist who wants some line variation but you don't like brush pens see the um, dry brush effect in full force as I used it as a shading on her hair. And as you can see, oh no, you can't see it at all. It gives a very broken up sort of gray tone line as opposed to, well, this one gives a little bit more of a thick line. But instead of a straight black fill, you get a more broken up line. This one should have black in it. Down here at the bottom, I used some of the fountain pens that I fill, or rather the water brushes that I filled with fountain pen ink to add accent colors. And these are filled with the diamine shimmer, shimmertastic inks. So I do get shimmering effects with these colors. Of course, they do take a moment to dry. Another example of that fountain pen ink used in a water brush for an all over fill. I also used um, a variety of different brush types to add some interest to our hair. So some of the smaller lines are Fude Pen, which you guys know, should know about if you're over here on the channel, as well as some dry brush effects in her hair. During Inktober, I experimented a lot with fun ways to add color to my black and white drawings. So in this, I sketched with a red colored lead, inked it with a waterproof Fude pen like the Sailor Mitsuo Ida. Then I used a water brush in combination with my Ink Central's craft mat. I put some of my Pintel Red on the craft mat. I used that to add that sort of pinkish color, so it's water plus this red. And then I just did fills with the red directly. Another example that's a lot more stark is this red, black, and gold example where I used a fun gold ink to add the fight and the eye. The 
Then I have examples where I play around with leaving the white of the page. And even an example where I take a spray brush to get this neat splatter effect in the background. And of course you don't have to use red. You can use any color lead and matching ink that you wish. So here I used yellow in a color eno pilot uh, a pilot color eno pencil and you can check the description below for links and the kuratake brush writer in pure yellow so i want to thank you guys so much for watching my video and i hope i have inspired you to add some fun new toys to your sketching collection don't be afraid to experiment and don't be afraid to make a mess Man. or get ugly I hope I've inspired you guys to add some new sketching toys to your collection. There are all sorts of fun, inexpensive products that you can add to your pencil case to add a little bit of color and a lot of variety to your sketches. Water-based markers like Crayola, colored leads like Crayola color pencils, or even crayons are even really affordable ways to get some exciting new looks in your sketchbook. Don't be afraid to pet, ugh, don't be afraid to play around and tag me on Instagram at NatoSoup if you you have something you want me to see. If you ever have any questions or comments, let me know down below and I'll try to help you out as best I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I'll see you again really soon. Bye!